Welcome to the tutorial video on how to build a Gantt chart from a mind map. For this example, we will use MindView 5 Business Edition. By selecting the File menu, I can choose New and choose Mind Map. A mind map is simply an organic way to view the project information, and the central idea or the subject is typically the name of the project. When brainstorming the deliverables for a project plan, a mind map is a perfect tool. I can simply choose the branch icon from the top to create my first line item. In this case, we will choose planning. To create an additional deliverable at the same level as planning, I would choose to create an additional branch by selecting the planning box and choosing the branch icon. In this case, we will type product. I can also utilize keyboard shortcuts and hit the enter key on my keyboard two times to create my third deliverable. Again, hitting enter two times, we will complete sales. These first level items within the mind map are considered the deliverable stages. To create corresponding tasks for each deliverable, I would select the desired deliverable and choose the sub branch icon or hit the insert key on my keyboard. In this case, we will create our first task. To create an additional task at the same level as setup team, I would simply hit the enter key one time to deselect, one more time to create that additional task. The benefit of brainstorming information within a mind map is that it's a nice organic visual way to look at the project plan and I can easily drag and drop items around the mind map to reorganize the content as needed. Here's a more completed version of this project launch. As you can see, we have the four main deliverables, planning, product, marketing, and sales. The corresponding task information is listed as well. To transfer this information into the Gantt chart, I can simply choose View, and I can choose Gantt. As you can see, the line items have been transferred into the Gantt chart within MindView's interface. The Gantt chart is separated into two sections. I have my Gantt chart outline on the left, and I have my duration bars on the right. All the panels can be expanded or moved, and I can choose to display more of the row names by left-clicking the vertical divide between task name and duration. To start associating task information, I can work directly in the outline view if I choose, by left-clicking in the calendar list and associating the correct start date. To increase or change the end date of a specific task, I would choose the duration column and increase or decrease the duration. I do not want to get into the habit of changing the start date and end date. I would choose one or the other and use the duration to forecast the opposite. I also have the ability to apply further task information, such as a resource for a specific task, by left-clicking in the resource field and typing the desired resource name. If I need to create a predecessor or dependency between two tasks, I can simply choose to left-click and pull down with my mouse and drag and drop the corresponding line to the desired task and create that standard finish to start dependency. I also have the ability to work directly in the duration bars by left-clicking and dragging the duration bar to the right or to the left will extend or decrease durations. I can left-click the bar to alter start dates and by hovering the left side of the duration bar I can choose to increase or decrease completion levels. I can also choose to update completion levels by left-clicking in the completion field and utilizing the drop-down list. If I need to add additional task information, I can choose the desired task from the outline, go under the Gantt Tools tab, and choose to launch task information. Task information gives me the ability to update things like the name, duration, estimate or accurate dates, start dates and end dates, completion levels, priority levels, or even make a task inactive in the Gantt chart. I can also apply a constraint to a specific item locking a task start date or end date in place. I can apply deadlines, 
or for more advanced users, I can determine effort-driven schedule and various task types. Under the Predecessors tab, I can choose to select additional task items and associate various types of dependencies. By utilizing the dropdown, you can see we have the standard predecessor types and add any corresponding lag time that I may need to apply within the listing itself. Under the Resources tab, I can apply additional resource information. I can also choose to add additional project resources by left-clicking the Project Resources button. Here I can choose to access or import an existing resource pool. If I'm an Outlook user, I can access my address book. I can locate my Active Directory. And for the Matchware Shared Workspace users, I can choose to list my shared workspace resources. I also have the option to hand type additional resources into the field. Once these resources are added to the system, I can then left click in the resources column and choose the various resource from the drop down list. Here's a more completed version of a Gantt project within MindView. As you can see, we have the corresponding deliverables and tasks, the relevant task information, and the corresponding dependencies. I can colorize my various duration bars by selecting a line item from the outline view, choosing the format tab, and selecting to apply a fill color, outline color, even a fill pattern. Under the design tab, I can choose to visualize more task information, such as the task name and resources, making the Gantt chart more transparent and assisting in communicating the project plan to the team. I also have the ability to add text descriptions of tasks by selecting a line item, going under the insert menu and choosing to apply a text note. A text note is then added to that branch and can be accessed from the pop-up. As you can see, the text note editor looks, feels, and functions like a standard Microsoft Word processor. I can also choose to add or attach supporting information to a branch by selecting the desired line item, going under the Home or Insert tab, and choosing to attach a file directly to the branch. By attaching that file to the branch, I can simply hover the pop-up and execute or launch that file as needed. To help in prioritizing information within the Gantt chart, I can choose to apply visual icons by left-clicking the desired branch, going under the Insert menu, and choosing Icons. This again helps to visualize the structure of the plan itself. I also have the ability to add custom pictures to individual branches by selecting the desired branch, applying an image, and hovering that image to visualize that data. All of the information that's captured within MindView can be further updated as needed. You can also utilize our integration with Microsoft Office and export this document in several types, including Microsoft Project. All of these types are also available on an import, which means I can then import from various tools, such as Microsoft Project.